Hi, I'm Father Dan Sermani, a, the Spirit and Chaplain of Holy Ghost Prep here in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, right outside Philadelphia. And we here at the school have been busy celebrating 150 years of the foundation of the U.S. province of the Spiritans. And very soon, we'll be adding to our celebrations as we celebrate 125 years of the foundation of this very school, Holy Ghost Prep. We, the Spiritans, the Congregation of the Holy Spirit, are nearly 3,000 members, priests, brothers, and lay Spiritans all throughout the world in over 60 countries coming from six continents. We have a very amazing history, but always remember the words in the letter to the Hebrews. Every house is founded by someone, but the founder of all is God. Now, our, the history of our spirits and community dates way back to 1703 in France. Then, uh, much later, we've had Spiritans coming to the U.S., uh, to North America, and then in 1872, they arrived more officially from Germany with the notion of establishing a U.S. province. And in 1873, it was established with parishes and a eye toward educational works. In 1878, the very famous uh, Duquesne University in Pittsburgh was founded. And then in 1897, what was called the Holy Ghost Apostolic College, which is now Holy Ghost Prep, was established with a lot of help from the family of St. Catherine Drexel, who lived until her death right down the street from us and in fact, the chapel we're sitting in here, aptly named the Chapel of the Seven Gifts of the Holy Spirit, was in fact built uh, thanks in a large part to a, a very generous gift from Mother Catherine Drexel, now a saint, and even how we managed to acquire these 50 acres, this beautiful land that the school uh, sits on, is also thanks to the Drexel family. So we have a, a great, amazing history. In 1959, we accepted the first batch of regular day high school students, and the name became Holy Ghost Prep. Always open to the spirit, the, this, even this school has undergone so many changes, having begun as a seminary and an novitiate, then continuing on as a uh, seminary and formation house, until we realized that the real need was for a Catholic high school in the area. By 1968, the seminary moved elsewhere and the school was entirely a day uh, high school, Holy Ghost Prep. Now we have an amazing faculty, staff, and students from all different backgrounds, cultures, languages. It's just a joy to be here. Gifts and talents, we have so many different departments, so many, we're not just academics, but in the true spirit and tradition. We're looking for the moral, spiritual, and intellectual growth of everyone here, both faculty, staff, and students. And together we continue to share that spirit and tradition. And so now, actually, I have the great pleasure of turning it over to some of these wonderful folks who will be able to share more with you about Holy Ghost Prep as we celebrate 150 years of the U.S. province here in the, uh, obviously, in the States, knowing that who we are today is thanks to who the Spiritans have been over 150 years in this country and way over 300 years since the founding. It's my great pleasure now for you to meet some of the other wonderful people here at Holy Ghost Prep and to celebrate who we are. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is John Fitzpatrick. I'm an alumnus of Holy Ghost Prep of Duquesne University, and for the past 30 years, I've had the good fortune to be a teacher here at Holy Ghost Prep as well. So I am deeply indebted to the Spiritans for forming me into the man that I am today. My classroom in the other building here on campus, which was the original seminary building, was the bedroom for three professed Spiritans years ago. And each time I think of that, I am reminded of a remark that Father Bill Christie, himself an HGP graduate and now campus minister at Duquesne, uh, made when he came here a few years ago to give a retreat. He remarked that in years gone by, when students entered Holy Ghost Prep, they felt like they were being welcomed into the Spiritans' home. 
And that was certainly my experience as well. And although the Spiritans no longer live in the academic buildings here on campus, I think we preserve some of that at-home spirit through our small size, the warm feeling of our classroom building, and also the sense of community that our faculty and staff try to create here for the students. My sincere hope for the Spiritans is that sense of hospitality and that charism of welcoming for which the Spiritans are so well known uh, becomes a fuel that will continue to ignite their presence here in the United States for the next 150 years. I am certainly grateful for that gift of welcoming. Uh, I know many others have felt that here. And on behalf of all us of us here at Holy Ghost Prep, I say congratulations to the entire Spiritan community in the United States. Thank you for all that you have done for us and will continue to do for us. Hello, everybody. So uh, my take on uh, being a teacher in a Spiritan school is, uh, first of all, I think it frames the kind of education that we provide and um, uh, it gives us a, a purpose, it gives us a way to teach young men. What I do in my classroom, being a French teacher, being a language teacher, um, I obviously, there's a lot of uh, spirit and um, uh, spirit in, 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 my, uh, in my teaching because I teach them a lot about culture. So it's not only teaching them French, but it's teaching them, teaching them um, how French people or people in Francophone countries like Africa or even Quebec or the Caribbean, how they uh, live, how, what they eat, uh, what their traditions are. And so it opens their minds to a different culture and how people in different parts of the world live, uh, then we compare it to the American culture, and that is also an interesting aspect. But basically, my purpose is to open their minds and uh, let them see that there are other cultures that we need to embrace, we need to try to understand other people, and we need to um, accept that other cultures are interesting also. Um, and we had a perfect illustration of that when uh, Father Dan and I uh, led the, a group of students to the Harlem immersion trip. So we went to a parish in Harlem uh, that welcomes basically Francophone uh, parishioners from Africa and the Caribbeans. And um, the students were really great in uh, being very respectful to that culture and to those people. And um, they had a great experience tasting food traditional from the different countries, from Senegal, from you know, different countries in Africa, that the parishioners made specifically for us and for other parishioners. Uh, but the students were great in trying the different dishes. And yes, it was fish and vegetables and you know, stuff they're not used to, but they tried and they uh, liked it. And uh, they were surprised at how warm and how welcoming those parishioners were towards them. Uh, we didn't know them, they didn't know us, and they welcomed us with open arms. And the students saw a different culture that um, is like that. It's, it's in their culture. In Africa, it's really in their culture to welcome anybody with open arms and be warm and help them out. And so the students saw that firsthand, respected that, and they had a great experience. 